Now it's been a while since I got a video up for you guys on the restoration of this thing. I'm sorry about that. It's just been one of those crazy things. I wanted to show you where we're at. Connecting rods back. It's installed and shimmed. The uh, off flywheel over here is on. And it's still got the tape on it as you can see. Um, got the shims and the bearings. And uh, got the head on. Valve springs are on. Rocker arms on. I'm making my third attempt on the igniter is a reproduction uh, made by Lee Anderson out of Minnesota. Does good work. Um, you can hear in the background one of my detours. And uh, so anyway, that's where we're at. And I'm hoping this weekend to really get a lot done and get uh, get most of it on video for you. But I, I'm making my uh, third attempt at the push rod. The first two have not come out real good, so we're going to try number three. And what you hear in the background running is the engine that, according that, if everything goes well, is going to get attached to this old grain grinder here. And I'll take you out there and show you that in a minute. It's nothing special, but it's got the pulley and it runs the right direction. So I picked this up a few weeks ago. But I've been working on cleaning up my shop, getting it organized, and my daughter's decided to close on a house. So my shop now has things like, you know, the, uh, uh, the dresser here, refrigerator, washer, dryer, all her stuff clogging up my shop, microwave, it's a donation to... Uh, our local community club I had to fix so but I can't remember where else we were at on this uh, on this Fuller Johnson I think that's everything that you hadn't seen I might not have had the carburetor on last time I cut a new gasket and made a new car or made a new carb gasket for it got it on so nothing nothing too earth-shattering but that's where we're at on that. And you can see some of the parts are sitting over here painted, ready to go. Now I'll, I'll walk you out front here and show you this and tell you the story behind this. But nothing special. It's a three to five international LB. You know, anybody who's been around engines longer than about 10 minutes has seen one of these. But, I've got it running. I'll give you the story here. The last time that unit ran was our show last June. I actually took it out and ran it. And uh, when I got done, when I tried to fire it up this year to put on this grain grinder, the... Uh, the uh, coil was bad, the spark plug was bad, the points were dirty, and what else was wrong? Oh, and the check ball was stuck, which is no big deal. But I had to fix all that, and I'm just letting it run out the tank of gas that's in there. And hopefully it'll behave itself. So, this one to show you where we're at here. And I will try, really, really try to get this all videoed this weekend and get a, probably be a nice long video up for you. Hopefully we're getting close to getting this thing running because our show's in about three weeks, so I'd like, three or four weeks. So I'd like to get her running before the show if at all possible because I've got the five horse here and sitting back there and those, those light white flywheels is a four horse people's price. And uh, I will be picking up, I've already made arrangements to pick up an 8-horse this summer in Missouri. So the Fuller Johnson collection's coming right along. So just a short little update to show you where we were at. Didn't want you to think I'd died and fallen off the planet. And uh, we'll get her, we'll, hopefully this weekend we'll be able to show some real progress. Thanks for watching.